Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on Signboard. So this is a fantastic plugin that allows you to write more things on a sign using the Minecraft scoreboard. So if we have a look here, this is the default one, it shows you on the right that you get 15 lines, all with 40 characters, which means you get 600 characters to write whatever you want. So it's a very cool plugin, it has loads of cool features, as you can see, uh, you have to be a certain amount of blocks away from the sign for it to appear and you can set that in the config file. You can also edit uh, all of the signs in the config file as well, um, but you can also change them in game. So there is another cool feature which allows you to attach it to a mob. So if I look at the sheet it will show us the colour uh, signboard that I created. Uh, as you can see here, it just shows all of the colors, and then there is also variables that you can attach. So this shows my mob kills and my player kills. So um, let's go ahead and create our own. So first of all, we need to do SB, and this will show us all of the uh, all of the commands. So SB board, and then new, and we're going to call it. Uh, let's call it. Uh, what we're going to show? We are going to show player. So we can show information about the player. And once you've done that, you can actually create a sign. So let's put bracket player square bracket and hover over it and it will show this is our new board and it's just got default information. So uh, we can edit it by doing four slash SB board player and then line one. So this is the bottom line. So we can do and four and then some equal signs. And as you can see, it's been updated. So let's choose maybe line, I don't know, uh, three or four. So line three. This is going to show um, health. So let's do that in um, green and let's do it in bold as well. So if we do squiggly brackets, P health, which is player health, squiggly brackets. Uh, maybe put text before that. So health colon that and there we go so our health is 20 at the moment uh, we could even change the color of this to maybe and two and uh, make it bold so it looks nice and L so um, that is how you do that and then the line above which is four um, we can change that as well so if we do and B and L we can do squiggly brackets P uh, P name, so the player name, S, and then information. And as you can see, it says LC Gym's information. So there is a whole list of these on the website. You can just use as many as you want. Uh, so let's do and N, which is underlined. And we could even change the line to 5. So let's change it to 5. Uh, there we go. So. Um, we're going to change line 4 to a blank line by doing and R and we're going to edit line 5 again so there we go we've made it look really nice now if you want to remove uh, all, of the all of the other clutter that you don't want to see you can just delete it really quickly in the config files um, which I'll show you in a minute but uh, that is how you create, edit and use variables for signs you can obviously do SB uh, board delete if you do not want it anymore uh, but we are going to attach it to this entity here. So if we do SB entity attach and then the board name, so that's player, you will see that it is attached to this mob here, uh, which is very, very cool. So it shows my health. Um, there are some other things you can show like deaths, kills, mob kills, server time, uh, players online, all of that good stuff. So um, that is uh, how you set it up. You can obviously detach it from an entity. You can list all of the boards you own. So SB board list. So we've got kills, color, and player. And um, you can list the lines of a specific board as well. So this will show all of them. Um, so what we're going to do now is hop into the config files. There's quite a few of them, but most of them you don't need to touch. So let's go there now. So here we are in the signboard folder and as you can see there are six different YML files. Let's go through the pointless ones that you don't need to um, look into. There is obviously the version history which tells you all of the changes that have occurred. We have the uh, attachments which is completely blank. The entities which just gives the locations of um, the mobs that you've attached it to. We have the signs which is the location of every sign you place. Uh, and then the board. So this is the most important one. 
as you can see, uh, player, this is the one we created. It shows the owner and the UUID, I think, yeah. Uh, so what we need to do is um, remove the unimportant stuff. So player names information, that's all fine. So we're going to just remove all of this like that and hit control S. So that's saved all of this. It's going to look really nice now. And uh, that's how you edit it. It's very straightforward. Um, and then there's the main config which you can have auto updates, you can change the view distance, uh, so that's 5 by default, the entity view distance, and the view radius as well. So um, that's really cool. Oh, and you, you also have uh, reserve names down here if you don't want uh, players to name things certain things. So uh, let's get straight back into the game. Um, not actually in there at the moment. So if we do SB reload, like that, it's reloaded all of them. It's going to lag a bit, but uh, I don't know if you can actually see this, so we're going to move it a bit. But uh, as you can see here, I have removed all of the clutter and it looks really nice. So um, that is the quickest way to edit it um, in game. Uh, so yeah, if you want to get this plugin, I'll leave a link down below. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.